Okay. Uh, the other thing to try tonight is some remove methods. Okay, some remove methods. Here's an integer array list. Okay, now there is a remove method in the array list class, which we'll use. But we're going to put that remove call inside a method. Let's see, remove even. Do you see it there? Remove even. So I got these numbers here, 5, 4, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 2 in an array list. And you want to remove all the evens. So we want to get rid of the 4, 6, 8, and 2, and become 5, 3, and 9. That's what you want to happen. This is a very, very interesting method. So public static void. We can do a void not return anything because array lists are objects and objects are passed by reference. That means we're passing the actual position in memory of the object. So the actual object does change, unlike an int or a double or a boolean or even a string. Strings a special case of objects that don't get changed. Anyway, public static void uh, remove evens and it's going to get, I guess, an array list, right? A list type integer. Let's call it list. And so what you're tempted to do, and what looks really good, is to loop through the array list. Say if list dot get i modulus two is zero, then remove that, and this looks really good. But of course, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't tricky. I wouldn't be doing this if it was simple. So compile it. Good. And now I run it, expecting to see 5, 3, and 9. But look, what's the problem? I don't see 5, 3, and 9. I see an 8 there. The 4 was removed. Remove evens knew the 4 was even. The 6 was removed. The 2 was removed, but not the 8. Okay, well, what happens here is when i in the loop is zero, it checks the five. Is five even? No, it's not. Keep on going. Then it checks the four. Is four even? So when i is one, it checks the four. And it removes position one. Now what happens? All these values to the right of 4 get shifted to the left. The 3 goes to position 1. So i goes to 2. It never checks the 3. It does check the 6. And it removes it. So when i is 2, 6 is where the 3 was. You follow me? And the 8 gets shifted over to the left to 2. But I doesn't realize that. It goes to 3 and bypasses the 8. Then goes to 4 and checks the 9. It's not even. And goes to 5 and checks the 2. It is even removes it. So it skips over the 8. It skips over it. So a quick fix, if you had this code, a quick fix would be if you remove something, don't increment it. Or, I don't know, do an I minus minus. You're going to increment it no matter what. But do an I minus minus. So even though I goes up, it still goes down. So it's not going to make a difference. Because say the same, basically. Uh, what do I got here? Oh, I need to have uh, braces. 
Right. And now it's going to work. Okay. So you have to be aware of this. The remove method is very tricky, and therefore it's always on the eighth exam. One year we may have to write it, and the next year they may ask us a multiple choice question about it. But it's going to be on the eighth exam. Now, a much better way to do this is with a while loop. Check out the while loop here. If I go int i equals zero, while i less and list dot size. And then if list of i, list dot get i minus two is zero, list dot remove i, and then if you don't remove anything, then do your plus plus. So that would be a, have to be in an else. Let's make sure this works. Else sat. Here's the end of the loop. We need the brace for method two. Compile. Good. And that works as well. Another good way to do it, again, the while loop is very nice. If this is the question on your AP exam, the AP reader, the guy grading, the, the teacher grading your uh, exam, she may have this solution next to her, and she may have a solution that's a little bit different. A backwards while loop works just as well. And it's really nice and short. Let's see, list dot size minus one, i bigger than equal to zero, i minus minus. Okay. Think about this way, this works just as nice. Uh, and it's probably the shortest way to do it. So it's the favorite way to do it probably among programmers. A remove method going backwards in a for loop. In the last position down to zero because the shifting is going with the movement of i. i is going with the shift, not against the grain, so to speak. So I would run this. It also works. So the while loop with the if else inside works great, and a backwards for loop works great. But when you go forwards, with a for loop, you have to be really careful, and I just would not recommend doing that. Okay, so this is good stuff for our next quiz. All this stuff in the video is the array stuff, which we didn't catch in our last quiz, and I was nice grading it, and then this array list uh, remove method. Okay, so very good stuff.